Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time for a huge announcement for Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time. Crash 4 is coming to the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and the PC. There is also a bunch of new details that come with this announcement, along with a secret package that I received and in-game screenshots. Also, in this video, I will explain everything you need to know about these ports. Let's finally talk about it. Whoa! What's up guys, Canadian Guy here and back with a brand new Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time video. Crash Bandicoot 4 coming to other platforms has been something that people have been begging for since day one, predominantly the Nintendo Switch. Well, Activision has decided to shock all of us by dropping not only a Nintendo Switch port, but also a PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X port to release on March 12th. That's right, next month, as well as a PC port that will come at a later time. Yesterday, I had went outside on my front porch and I saw that I had received a secret package. And when I saw it was from Activision, I calmly entered my room and opened it. In the box, I found a beautiful valentine that said the following. Orange, you excited? It's been 25 years since we first fell in love. Meet me on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series XS, and Nintendo Switch on March 12th to celebrate. Oh, and don't forget your PC. We'll need that later. XO, XO, with Wumpa Fruit on top, your favorite marsupial. Of course, the front had Crash looking at me with eyes of passion and desire that, uh, may or may not have made me uncomfortable, but what came with that lovely valentine was five shortbread cookies, all with the new platforms that Crash Bandicoot 4 is gonna be ported to. Now, there is one here that is very important to note, which we'll talk about later on in the video and for a future video as well. The cookies were also, uh, pretty good. Not too sweet and had a little bit of a chew to it. A solid 7 out of 10. With this package though, I also received a three-page press release to give details on what to expect in the coming months for our marsupial. I'm not going to read the entire press release, but I'm going to read the most important parts, and these will be exact quotes so that there will be absolutely no confusion whatsoever. Because, especially recently, with certain news and rumors, there seems to be a lot of false narratives being thrown around. Like the idea that Crash Bandicoot 4 sold poorly. There's been a lot of confusion in the Crash Bandicoot fan base as of late. I... I thought you were dead. My death was... greatly exaggerated. So, you're the punk I've heard about. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get to reading. Crash Bandicoot makes his foreword to next-gen consoles, Switch, and PC in 2021. Activision to celebrate an unforgettable 25th anniversary all year long. He's made you spin, jump, and wump for 25 years, and this year, our beloved orange marsupial is celebrating in style. To kick off his silver anniversary on March 12th, the true sequel to the classic Crash Bandicoot trilogy from the 90s and the first original entry in the Crash franchise in more than 10 years. Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time will launch on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and Nintendo Switch. The game will also launch on PC via Battle.net later this year. Fans should also be on the lookout for tons of fantastic festivities from Activision Blizzard Inc. aimed to engage Crash Bandicoot fans throughout the year. Developer Toys for Bob has been hard at work to bring Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time to new platforms. Fans on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S are in for some incredible visuals when they see the game run in 4K with 60 frames. Additionally, players on either next-gen platform will enjoy quicker loading times to dive into the Wumpa-eating action and 3D audio that will immerse them in all new dimensions. What's more, players who purchase or already have Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One will be entitled to receive next-gen upgrades at no additional cost. 
except in Japan, within the same console family, including the ability to transfer save data. Fans can expect more information on the PC edition at a later date, along with other fun happenings in the celebration of the franchise's 25th anniversary. I was freaking out the whole time while I was reading this press release. We are getting next-gen ports along with a Switch port only six months after the initial launch of Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time. The previous Switch ports took almost a year to come out for PC and Switch. Not only are we getting those, but we're also getting a PS5 and Xbox Series X port that makes the game natively 4K and runs at 60 frames per second. Also, if you already own a copy of Crash 4, Activision is giving you an absolutely free upgrade for your next-gen console. Just pop it in and or open it up on your new console and the console will know what to do. I do want to mention, however, this will not work if you bought a physical copy of the game for your PlayStation 4 or Xbox One and then upgraded to the Series S or the all digital PS5. It will not work. But if you bought a digital version for your PS4 or Xbox One, then you will be fine to get the free upgrade for your diskless consoles. If your next gen consoles have a disk drive, you're A OK either way. Also, for yet another shock, it's the price for the PC and Switch ports. The PS5 and Xbox Series X versions are going to be $59.99 USD, which is actually nice because even though this is the standard price of games, a lot of games for next gen have actually increased their price by about $10. So for them to maintain the original price is actually pretty cool. But the Nintendo Switch and PC version? They will be set to $39.99 USD a $20 discount from the launch and next-gen console prices. So when myself and many others inevitably double dip or triple dip, it won't be as hard on our wallets. Now let's take a look at some next-gen screenshots, shall we? All the following shots are in 4K, so they will look even better than what you see here. This is due to, of course, YouTube's compression. Now as I go through these photos, I really want you to focus on the colors, particle effects, and the lighting. In some of these shots, you can really see the ambient lighting affecting the characters more and more in their surrounding area, more than in the original game. We also can see more color and lighting of a scene that's impacting the characters, along with clear and not fuzzy shadows. Seeing this game run in 4K and 60 frames is going to be super exciting and I can't wait to try it out myself. But here were three big points that were said over and over again in the press release. So so they wanted to make sure that this came across as clear as possible. The first one was that Toys for Bob is the studio that will be making these ports. They are still working on Crash Bandicoot 4. It doesn't seem, as far as we know, to our knowledge, to be outsourced to any other studio. Could there be other studios helping? Yes, but in terms of leading the development for the next gen ports, it is still Toys for Bob. Which is great because the Crash Bandicoot Insane Switch port, which was done by Toys for Bob, was literally magical. To know that they are still hard at work on the Switch version excites me, along with all the other ports. The next point was that the PC version was coming at a later date and to Battle.net, which is essentially Blizzard's game library app, which has significance to it. And last, but certainly not least, they repeatedly said throughout the entire press release multiple times that there would be a lot of Crash content coming out throughout this year, meaning that we will see more Crash content in the coming year. In my opinion, the fact that Crash 4's PC release is delayed and coming to Battle.net and not Steam tells me that there's something fishy going on. Why can't they release it alongside the next gen ports? And why Battle.net? Well, I think the reason being is that the tentatively named Wumpa League, or the Crash PvP game, is going to launch alongside the release of the PC port. There's a lot more to go through here to prove why I think this, so I'm going to dedicate an entire video explaining why. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date. However, the best takeaway is that it seems that 2021 is going to be an eventful year for Crash, and I will cover it every step of the way.
Thank you so much to all those who not only support the channel, but myself and my family. Because of your contributions, I'm able to do this full time. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider clicking the join button or becoming a Patreon with the link in the description. I also live stream every Thursday and Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come on by and say hi. Again, thank you to everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video and or live stream.